And for game number one, who will secure game number one? There it is already. Minion blocking coming out from the Grok just to contain the minions so that they will have an advantage in the laning stage. And this is one way to really play the Grok and the X plane, what, which really makes it a very strong hero in the side lanes. I think the biggest question I would like to ask is, what is Mobazin going to build towards you? Is this going to be a tank Karina or is this tank. going to be a magic assassin Karina? But looking at the emblem, I don't think it really tells a lot. Usually you go for the uh, Demon Slayer <laughs> emblem as well yep. for, well, the tank Karina. Yep. But it feels like Mobazin right here. There's a lot of tankiness already built in in their roster. I feel yep. like they need to try to solve the question of taking down Gustavo Gusta. Yep taking down Sagan, and then yep. roll Snowball. Between the heroes of RQ Brazil, like you have the Claude as well as the Matilda, and even the Martis at, at some regard, there's a lot of like uncontrollable damage. Like the Blazing Duet, for sure, you can, uh, you can, you have the choice to turn it on or off, but whenever you put it up, you know that it's going in. That's where the Karina actually flourishes against those kind of heroes. You just reflect back the damage, and this is definitely a Moba Zane kind of play style that we can see. What you're seeing is also just the Valley playing with their comfort, right? You're mentioning that Moba Zane can go for just damage here. But honestly, looking at their game so far, um, they've just been going for a lot of three frontliners, three tanks, and relying on the mid laner and the gold lane to really carry their games when it does get to that later stage. Here, you can already see a little bit of a proactive movement by Super Shark in the mid lane, trying to go for that pick, but it's not really gonna happen. RQ Akira, they're really good at playing for this early game skirmish too, and they can read that out, right? Now it comes down to the turtle. King on the Martis versus Zane on the Karina. It's going to be dependent on whether or not they will have the ultimate on Super Shark. So what they're doing right now is putting Super Shark in the middle as a roamer so that he'll get to level 4 mm -hmm. as he is right now. Yeah, Takashi putting some effort in the back line. It's going to be Mubazan chicken down a little bit long. It's going to Super Shark. Mining King! It's a jump in the turtle pit. It's going to be First Blood awarded over the side to the valley. The turtle resets. Takashi unable to buy time for his jungler to take down the turtle. It's a good first blood, right? They really assess the situation perfectly there. They notice that RQ Kira, they're going in a bit too soon without the help of Sagan and Louise, especially King. They utilize, well, not King, Takashi yeah. on that vengeance. They utilize that resource differential and they capitalize on the fact of taking him down. They wouldn't have a lot of ultimates to work with now. But then again, both junglers are just busy taking their own purple buffs, and it will be a double buff for Mobile Zane, single buff for King, but he, but King will be faster on the turtle because yep. of this. But Hoon right now doesn't have the real one manipulation, Red Airstrike will be going in at the same time. King focusing on the turtle right now, the Red Airstrike zoning the members of the valley out. Hoon responds with the real one manipulation, Lewis will be given away over to the side of the valley. Objective versus kill, that's what ha what's happening right now. Valley leading with two kills, and you know, Wolf, I saw this yep. before. Last time a team prioritized kills, they won. It was yeah, Falcon. A lot of damage. <laughs> it was, it was. But then again, this time, you saw RQ Brazil taking advantage of the fact that Moba Zane took his time. He's, uh, in a way, there's a lot of greed in what Moba Zane did mm -hmm. because he went for two buffs first, while King, after dying, he went only to the orange buff and allowed his Matilda and Farsa to zone out the members of the Valley. We talked about this in the draft. There's a lot of combination with the Matilda and the Farsa. There's lethal poke that you can get out of there, and the Valley respected that. That is why they weren't able to position themselves around the turtle. Oh, look at the stat line, though. Demolition Gusta Man. Gusta, the great Demolition Man. Ranked first <laughs> in hero damage, first in turret damage, and first in turret damage per minute. So there's turret damage per game and per minute. This guy's an absolute monster. I think he just absolutely hates the turrets right now. Yeah. And you can see, right, they're already trying to look for a siege and maybe possibly look for a dive up in the gold lane. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of pressure on the top side by RQ Kira. It's going to be limiting basic just a little bit, but there will be a lull just in a moment as Moba Zane goes in, takes items that he's, uh, well, takes buff that he should not own. As let's take a look at the emblem. Okay, so definitely going to be that um, tank ability for Moba Zane. I think this is just the way to go. Um, like we said, there's a lot of like uncontrollable damage coming up from Arky Brazil that they can take care of. I'm actually surprised that Fight Chicken is holding his ground so well, but up top, the punish coming out from the valley. Punish coming out uh, up, t up there. RQ Brazil, I think, overstayed the welcome. They're focusing too much resources around 
basic, but you can see, you can start to see the damage coming off of Takashi, right? L look, Fight Chicken is a grok. It's just, you know, it's just armor. It's not magic resist. And Takashi is there dealing magic damage against that grok. There's, again, uh, for the Valley, a lot of pick potential they can play for, right? And RQ Akira, they're saying, sure, you can pick up a kills on Louise as many times as you want, but this is what they're gonna do back. Yeah, at the same time, backline, Takashi is actually keeping Mawazi a little bit too busy right here. Real one mission committed by Hoon. We'll be dropping down the bombs from the side by Super oh. Shark. That's the, the jump, the bounce, but we'll not be able to convert it Sagan. into an ultimate. It's gonna be Sagan. That will fall. Mawazi finds the assassination. 1,000 gold lead now for the Valley, and so wow. far, this. Prioritized kills over so Shekin is working for the Valley really well. RQ and Kira are falling behind, and with that, you can already see the siege potential from Team Valley. And Super Shark is just way too good at set of heroes. Yeah, two zero and two from the guy. Amazing jumps, and even you saw some patience from him. He did, even when he already has like the the dream combo of the Grok and the Kufra, where there yeah. is the Guardians Barry, you can just pin them to the wall. He waited for his right moment. He know that he knows that there will be no follow up because his teammates are on the opposite side of the wall. So he waited for his timing to go for the lockdown. Fight Chicken, again holding his ground. I wonder how he's able to do it. Yep. It's not easy. Yeah, there you go. It's going to be Matilda using the ultimate on top of Moba Zane. The boy crystals from Hoon will slow down that push. The Valley currently on 5-0 in terms of the kill score, but RQ Akira has the better map control in my opinion. Yeah, I agree, right? The map control that they've been able to get with the XP lead in a few of these lanes because of the turtle, and even here, you can see the deaths, right? Mm -hmm. You look at the score and you think it's horrible for RQ Akira, but most of these deaths have been placed onto the roamer. Oh, for the Ezra coming in, Luis is actually pincering. Look at how Gusta Lagusta, the demolition man going to business. He's taking down the top side. That's the first turret in the favor of RQ Akira. Again, the people or the members from RQ Kira that have been taken down are mostly just the frontliners, King and Louis. Sure, there are a few deaths here from Takashi and Sagan, but that's despite the point. They can actually utilize this 500 or 1,000 gold lead from the valley, and they could just use it to farm constantly, right? Creating space for themselves on the map to get those power spikes on the Farsa and the Claws. Yeah, boy, Chicken using the wall charge, get out of the way. The real woman police on top of Hoon. It's gonna be second, we'll be able to fly away with the wings by wings. No kills for the valley for now, but you know they are hungry. Yeah. All of the space that was, is created by Team Valley, four of their members always fighting his argument. Oh, 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 he catches Louise right at the back line. Give it a kill over to the basic to the Valley. Imagine the transition into a turtle takedown. That's the third turtle in the pockets of the Valley. RQ Kira need to be very careful the way they're playing, right? Sure, it's still just Louise who's getting caught, not Gusta, not Sagan, but the more the rover gets taken down, that's more or less map control you have, and Super Shark's going for it. Super Shark's going in once again, rare the rare strike going down to basically zone out, but that would not be enough. The Valley will be able to take down the top side as well. What was saying, going on 1v1 against King, but it's gonna be a tanky Karina going up against a tanky Martis. I love to see it, right? Two tanks just beating each other up. <laughs> yeah, Doesn't care about the minions. Hey, yeah. you and me in the middle, right now <laughs> do that in old chat <laughs> okay it will be difficult now to deal with um the valley already you can see super shark picking up the radiant armor majority of the early game damage of rq akira is based on magic that's joy that's farsa that's matilda all nullified with this item and then if you're looking at basic already picking up the wind of nature it means that even the physical damage department that's gonna struggle against team valley mm -hmm. i'm not seeing any damage output now any dps now coming out from rq akira so they just need to farm up maybe wait for their timings but the valley, they're not letting that happen. Oh, Super Shark jumps in, pins Takashi right into the wall. That's basic picking up that kill for now. Hoon coming in, Mobazi coming in for the flank. King will not be able to survive. Karina finds assassination with the help of Hoon's real wall manipulation. An amazing gank by the valley, knowing exactly what RQ Kira were doing. They placed most of their members up in that top lane. So the valley just utilized that, capitalized, yeah. and just dove them down. No hesitation whatsoever. The valley with crisp clean communication and they're gonna be able to punish a bit more look at that because of the winning team fight in the bottom lane basic translates that into two turret takedown rq akira needs to solve this big problem where is their damage coming from Whew. okay we'll have to wait for both the farsa and the clod to have items before they are able to output the damage at this point the valley is just way too <laughs> Bulky and just so uh, farmed with 3.7 thousand gold of an advantage. RQ Akira will have to wait for their moments. Will the Valley not let that happen? 
Looking at it here, it's gonna be really tough for RQ Akira to really contest right now with a 3.6k gold right. deficit. But it all it's depends crunching. on Kusta and Sagan. Bouncing ball going to be activated at the same time. It's the Valley actually gaining a lot of map control around the Lord Pit. Feather Airstrike not at the Lord Pit area will not be able to contest with that. Why Jingo going in the wall, tries to connect on the Kusta, look, Kusta, the base, do it. Going all the way in. Shredding the right Jingo going all the way down. Team Valley is still Kusta. going in, but it is gonna be RQ Akira picking up the items, and this is the time the damage grab coming from Mobile He's Ten. gonna chomp down, but that's not enough as Hoon will be there to take down the damage killer from RQ Akira. It's a two for one, make it a three for one because the Valley secured the Lord. And just on that note, they're really good at taking these crazy skirmishes. RQ Akira, you can finally see the damage come through and that's because of the itemization. But again, the Valley were so much ahead already. Yeah, you can see that even with just white chickens uh, zoning them out, blocking yeah. them out, committing the ultimate and sacrificing himself just to make sure that the members of RQ Brazil will not be able to come oh. through. The peeling from the valley is just way too good. Even utilizing the real-world manipulation just to not let King get into position. The valley is just way too ahead. I feel like the valley is like, who needs macro game when I'm so good at team fights? 10 kill, well, 8 kill lead right there in the valley. And those kills transitions into gold. It transitions into map control. RQ Akira needs to play it safe. They don't have the damage. And you know the valley is itching for a fight. Hey, and it is all going to come down to Super Shark, who's already charging it in. This man has been so aggressive and he's been the one initiating all these crazy plays, right? If you don't have Super Shark, they wouldn't have this lead. Super Shark jumping in, real one, oh, oh. Super Shark all the way in the enemy base and he's trading so much space for the time being. The Valley is actually focusing on the Lord in the bottom lane instead and that is the prize. A fight chicken will sacrifice his life for the bottom lane turret. What a fight, the Valley again. They lose one member, but it's all good. It's a frontliner. It's just why chicken. They get a base turret with the first lord, and that's so much value. That's so much value indeed. Because normally in a in a game where you have your all, all of your economies all together, whoever gets the first lord doesn't really get any other or any inhibitor turret. And them getting that is such a high value a sacrifice coming out from Fire Chicken. And I like the way that they're layering all their yeah. stuns, right? The fire Chicken goes in and then Super Shark comes afterwards. So it's like a combination of whether you go first with the Grok or the Kufra. Well, you know, I have another question here. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at the itemization. Oh, never mind. Oh, so close there. Super Shark gonna be poked down for a bit. They're looking for just a steal here. Actually, wow, good steal by Zayn. But back to my question. The Valley and RQ Akira. It seems like Gusta Lugusta is gonna be the main man when it comes to the later stage of the game. From Skyler, from Oheb, yesterday in the match, yeah. we saw that the Corrosion side was an option. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Gusta needs to go for the Corrosion side here to be that late game carry? I think so. I think you, you badly need that. Because of the updates of the Corrosion side, it just makes so much value for it. Attack with big play. I don't know whether this is the real one, but you're going in as well, but it would not be. It is going to be the mid lane for the side of our Kirikira cracked open for now. The fact that Super Star is just literally charging up oh created God. so much invisible pressure against our Kirakira. Oh man, they're, they're making it easy for basic. Like the Valley, they're just peeling for basic. Then you cannot see any initiation coming out from RQ Akira yep. that can go to the back lines unless they do it now. King with a oh, flank. That's a good flank coming up on Gustavo. Gustavo, would that be enough though? But Momo will be able to Basin. just bounce a BMI. Well, no, Gustavo, Gustavo will be destroyed Basin. by Basic. And he is on the hunt. It is going to be King that says Basic. No, you're not going to be able to do anything for now because I'm going to take you down. But Super Shot on the other hand, it is going to be him creating so much space. Oh, wipe out. Wipe out the valley again. Dudes, they're gonna end the game right now with a crazy dominant game in game number one to secure it first here. Oh. White Chicken just adding a little bit to that spice that we said that you need in <laughs> Indonesia. It's like, I'm totally imagine the valley is like throwing the fried chicken drumstick at the, oh at the enemy. <laughs> it am, actually hurts. I am Goreng with a lot of sambal in there as you oh, went no. in. Who, even who? Picked up what? Two golden staves. There's huh? a plural for that. Golden staff. Two, uh, two, two pieces of golden staff, right? Just to finish up the game so they can attack quickly. But then again, you see that the valley, whenever they initiate together with Super Shark as well as uh, Fire Chicken, it's very smart in how they are doing it, how they are approaching it. It's like sometimes it's going.